our very first live nomination show. Very exciting. Do you have any idea who should be nominated? Uh, I've got a funny feeling Damien's up for a couple of votes. Isn't oh, anyone here agree? Just cheer if you think it's yes. <laughs> right, well, they're all biased, of course, although we have loaded the audience a little bit. At home, who do you think will be nominated? Get comfy in your chairs because you're about to watch 12 people squirm like worms in their chairs. This is the moment our housemates have been dreading. Our very first nomination night. No one wants to be nominated. No one wants to be the first to go, not after all they've been through to get into that house. Well, they'll be called to the diary room to vote in a few minutes and we'll tell them the results at the end of tonight's show. And in the meantime, we've got some special guests here tonight. We've got Damien's sister, Liz. And we've got Damien's dad, Chan. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yes, our little guest in the audience might get beaten up later, but never mind. <laughs> also tonight, we have the latest psychological perspective on the house. We also have one of our favourite housemates from last year joining us as a roving reporter. Yes, Todd. And we'll have an update on the emotional time bomb ticking away somewhere in Australia, the secret six intruders. Now, our other special guests are joining us live from the Big Brother house. They are dressed rather strangely, but you'll find out why tomorrow. In the meantime, let's cross to the house. There's another one. Brandon. Oh, Brandon, yeah. Brandon. Brandon. Dylan. Brandon. 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 Yes, Big Brother. Yes, Big Brother. Aaron to the diary. Oh, oh, my, oh, my, oh my God, there's our photos in the background. Oh, oh. <laughs> I want to sell myself. Oh, 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 thanks, Aaron. What? Go, Ezra. That's great. BB. Aaron, who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, I nominate Katrina for two points. Uh, after nearly a week here, after pretty much a week here, yesterday she called me Alex, um, and I felt that we were together as a group, uh, got to know each other really, really well, and just that she called me Alex was a, a little bit of a turn off for me. It just, I thought that maybe she should uh, have my name right after seven days, so that's two points. Who do, you nom who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one point I nominate Damien, purely to the fact that uh, uh, the day after, when we, me, Marty and Pete stayed up doing the uh, painting exercise late into the morning, there was no dramas with that. We had a great time chatting and uh, got to know each other really well. It was just that, uh, and Damien got blind drunk, which is a total great excuse, like, that's not the reason. The next day, when painting was to resume, uh, he was very reluctant to get back in and help after he'd uh, partied on the night before. And I actually had to say to him, Damien, maybe you should get in paint, which I thought maybe shouldn't have happened. He should have been willing and voluntary to uh, do that. So they're my votes and they're the reasons why. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really don't want to have to do this because I love everyone. Jessica. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Okay, two go to Katrina because she sleeps the most in the afternoons. She always has an afternoon nap. And. Who do you nominate for one point and why? One point goes to Alex, because I haven't got to know him as well as the other people. He hasn't really poured his heart out to me as some of the others have. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Okay, get up fast. Don't talk to Jess until she sits down. Jess. Um, Who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would ever be. Um, I've based my one first decision on who I thought has done the least amount of work and helping out others around the house and cooking, etc. So I nominate uh, Mirabai with two. Um, and the and other. Who do you nominate for one point and why? One point. Um, this was based on who I thought is missing home the most. I know it sounds silly and we're all here because we wanted to be Alex, here. Alex, this is not about you being kind. 
Um, well, I nominated Turkin for one point. And why? For that reason, because I think she's missing home. It's not an adequate reason. Uh, well, then, she also, um, I think, like uh, Mirabai, is probably done the least amount as far as helping the housemates. Thank you. So. I don't go on, I don't go on. Not even this. Oh, there's a break now. Yeah, no hats. Turkin, who do you nominate for two points and why? I nominate Jessica for two points and the reason I nominate her is because sometimes I question her sincerity. And who do you nominate for one point and why? And the person I nominate for one point is Alex because I remember on the... F well, this is something that came to my memory was um, I found that he wasn't really proud of where he was from and I kind of clicked onto that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what do we think about that? Very shocking. <laughs> do you do this professionally? Yes, I do. <laughs> Did, were you, there any surprises there? Um... Maybe Turkan. You thought she would be nominated more or less? She wouldn't. I didn't think she would be nominated. I, pro I more, would have more thought um, Damien, because he seems to be working his way around the ladies, and maybe the guys would have thought, you know, that's ours. Go away. Bit of competition. Dad's up the back. We've got to be very, very polite. Maybe he gets it from his dad. Does he get it from you? Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. What about you? Who did you think would be nominated? Um, I expected that Katrina would. So you're right on that one? Yeah. And um, the reason is because I think that she's a bit outspoken and that she might upset a few people in the house. But don't you think outspoken people are good? Um, yeah, but not at this stage, I don't think. It's oh, too early. Wait until after you're nominated. <laughs> yes, that's, and what about you? I was surprised that um, Jessica's votes for people like sleeping in in the afternoon. I just didn't like her opinion on that. I think but she should be voted out. Well, with any luck, she'll write a song about it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll look forward to that. I've been nominated, but I'm still in the house. What an epic that will be. All right. <laughs> After the break, we will be back with the next round of nominations. very angry at narrow-minded people, people who won't accept other opinions, especially when they are opinions and not statements of fact. One of my worst nightmares is about my goldfish dribbler. In this nightmare, I was eating lasagna out of the fish tank, I don't know why, and then all the fish decided they hated me, and they got in these tiny little air suits and so they could breathe and climbed out of the fish tank and walked away. I hate seafood. Um, I also think it's really mean to eat all these tiny little creatures, especially since I have a goldfish. And I also don't like tomatoes. My worst personal habit is that I look in the mirror too much. Um, I've been told since I was a kid that I shouldn't be looking at myself when I talk, but I still do it. I am open to romance in the house. I'm not planning on it, but I'm not going to deny it if it comes my way. Big Brother live nomination show and we have a few more opinions here from our live audience. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking Shannon because she's very loud and boisterous and she likes to run the show. What's wrong with that? Uh, she has to have everything done her way. I think that sounds like the perfect woman. What about you? Um, I'm going on Nathan for the same reason that he's a bit, you know, full on out there. A bit look at me, be the centre of attention. Well, what is wrong with that? Who's your uh, favourite? My favourite would be Aaron. He's a bit of a spunk. So you're very deep then? I am. All the way down. All yeah, the way down. Yeah, we don't want to know about that, do we? <laughs> Will I ask you? Yes, definitely. Shannon. Definitely. She's got to go. No, too bossy. Way too bossy. Well, who do you love? Um, I'd have to say Jessica. Yeah, I love Ooh. the blonde hair. Well, because you like a blonde hair. Yeah, I love blonde hair. <laughs> but I also love brunettes like yours as well. <laughs> Well, I don't like your shirt. <laughs> all right. I do. Um, all right. 
We are going to cut back to the house now because we, what we want to see is whether there is some sort of plan going on, some sort of game plan, whether there's a mysterious motivation or whether people are just saying, oh, I don't know, out they go. Let's cut to the house now. Someone has a nice sign. There you go. Marty to the daughter. Good luck, Marty. Go, 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 Marty. Um, I nominate Turkan, unfortunately, because um, she just doesn't seem to have handled this week as well as others. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, Katrina for one point. Um, she's just been here yeah, a little bit quieter and that, that, that kind of thing, not as eager to get up and get in there. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Mirabai. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? I nominate Alex because even though he's incredibly spunky and funny, um, I haven't found a real connection with him and I find him slightly condescending sometimes. Wait, and who do you nominate for one point and why? <laughs> Uh, she's she's also incredibly funny and she's incredibly entertaining, but Jess, because I um, basically I find that I haven't I haven't found a real connection with her either because she's always so focused on what she's doing with herself. Um, but she's great. I love her anyway. Thank you. Damien, yes. who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, I'm giving uh, Katrina two points um, because I think maybe I just haven't related well with her at all. We've, <laughs> we've been different on views and I think she's a little bit <laughs> narrow-minded for my liking. Um, yeah. And who do you nominate for one point and why? One point, uh, like, she's a beautiful person, but I'd, I'd probably give it to, to Khan. Um, um, I don't, because I think she's just not fitting in with the overall scheme of things. I think that's it. But, um, Surely that's her decision, not yours. Um, you should nominate her for a reason that relates to your feelings, not to her feelings. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I just... She's... Like, I'm, I'm not a real serious person. I think she's mistaking me for being too serious sometimes when I'm just joking around. And I just... I, 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 didn't like, I don't like really being um, sort of confronted that he's confronted as she has been confronting me. Thank you. for two points and why? Uh, I'm going to nominate uh, Katrina. I feel that she doesn't give enough to the group and uh, I've tried to relate with her but there's no connection there. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I have to give one point to Shannon. Um, I guess um, I feel with Shannon she's not really interested in me as a person or like anything that, that I really have to say. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. I'll hold you. That was fast. Oh, the door. That was quick. That's no, no. no, no. Ooh. <laughs> we had muffled oohs and a couple of ahs. That's all a bit shocking, isn't it? <laughs>
Your performance was a bit shocking, actually. All right. Now, when we come back, we have got the update on our intruders. And, of course, we have the final round of nominations. I, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> 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 and my, my sister sang Wendy Matthews as Damon Wayne. Oh, <laughs> well, have there been any surprises so far? Is anyone crying? Anyone here in the audience? Or chucking a Katrina, as we call it? <laughs> Nobody's crying. That, I meant that in the nicest possible way, of course. What has been the common reaction as you've heard these nominations? <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Oh, as they have. What about you at home? Well, do not move a muscle because we're crossing back to the house for the final nomination votes. This is Big Brother. Pete is the diary room. Good luck. Go, Pete Skiz. Oh, you're right. Go to the scan. Peter. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? I nominate Damien for two points because he, he just seems a bit fake and we don't really, we sort of don't really click because of that. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, one point I nominate Shannon because she's incredibly strong-willed and uh, I think it's the same sort of thing. We just really don't, don't click because we, uh, we're both the same kind of person. Thank you. Sides in the end. Well, that's it. No, that's it. Right. We just put them up and knock them down. Come on, Natalie. We just put them up. Hey. Katrina. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? I'm nominating Damo because, uh, God, this is hard. Um, just a stupid little thing. It's all I could think of. Um, the other day, we were just talking, and he was at, next to my bed, and he was just playing with my things, and it really irks me, and it's just something that. I have a lot of respect for other people's space and he just didn't have it for me and that's why I'm giving him two points. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Okay, similar reason, I'm nominating Turkin for one point. Um, this, I know this is a couple of days ago and it's so petty but uh, when she threw my tennis ball over the wall, um, like all the other balls were lost in accidents and that was deliberate and she just didn't even think that it was someone's item and she was hurting the group by doing it and that's why I'm nominating her for one point. Thank you. Thanks. If you develop oh, the yeah, yeah. if you're going to go, I'm going to it's good. But if you come across as a shaman. Hello. Nathan, who do you nominate for two points and why? Okay, for two points, I'll nominate, um, I don't want to, but I'll nominate Kat. Um, Katrina, um, because I haven't really gotten to know Katrina that well. Um, I have actually sort of have today, but um, Katrina just seems a little bit more withdrawn than everybody else and, um, yeah, basically just sort of sticks out of the, the crowd a little bit more and sometimes feels a little bit uneasy with the conversations and stuff. So two points for Katrina, but she's really, really nice, I've just discovered. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, and for one point it'll have to be Turks, and that's Turkan. Um, uh, the reason, it's probably the same sort of thing. Um, Turkan uh, likes to grab the crowd and make everyone go and sometimes that comes over as, as a little bit bossy but that's one of the great things about her. Um, I don't really know Turkan as well as what I do everyone else, the same as Katrina. And um, yeah, I also, Turkan was a bit upset the other night and um, she, her and Katrina seem to be the only people that are really um, need to be dealing with their problems. Yeah. And this should be about your feelings, not hers. Oh, it is about my feelings. The fact is that, um, yeah, with Turkan, I just don't... I haven't clicked with her, but over the last couple of days, I have sort of started clicking with her. But I, as apart from everyone else, I don't really click with Turkan as well. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're going to do 
Naked Chef tonight, tonight, but no way. We'll do Naked Chef. Shannon, who do you nominate for two points and why? Okay, um, first up, two points, I'm going to nominate Pete. And the reason is, um, great bloke, warm-hearted, just don't find his humour all that funny. And I find myself getting a little bit frustrated with him and his humour at times. And also, he's got some fantastic people on the outside, um, his brother and sister, and I think oh, that This is bond... not about you being charitable to him. Okay, that's it then. I don't find his humour funny, and that'll do for now with that one. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one point I'm going to nominate Turkan and little things that add up, such as I don't find her as um, connected to the other girls as a group as I am and doing things with, with the group, activities. And also I think too because of the alcohol consumption that's about to be endured, um, I think that's going to be very annoying for her. Again. That's about her feelings, not yours. Okay. Oh, maybe I think I'm going to get annoyed then about the fact that what we do could bother her, and that would bother me. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Well, I think we need a bit of a whiteboard or a bouncing ball to follow that last one of Shannon's. Uh, I guess it means she thought she'd get annoyed that someone else was getting annoyed. Is, is that right? <laughs> or is that a bit annoying? I, I, I'm not really sure. We're just waiting for the tally and checks, which of course all have to be very official, and we'll let you know the official nominees and voting phone numbers later in the show. In the meantime, we have had a mad week in the Big Brother house. Tears, drama, romance and bonding, and that of course was just the rats. But somewhere else in Australia, or are they, our intruders have been shaking their own action. They're still cut off from the house and the outside world, but we've let them make some video postcards, so let's take a look. Hello everyone out there in the real world. Just sending you a bit of a secret six postcard from our secret location. Filling you in on a few things that have been happening. Well, the challenges so far, whether to shave or not, what t-shirt to wear, what shoes to wear for the activity, because there has been quite a few. The slippers have been great because we've been eating lots of chocolate cake. I hope you're all doing really well back in Melbourne. And I miss you especially, Doc. And don't forget to tape everything. I'm going nuts up here. We don't know anything, and these people won't give me any information. So um, just keep me posted for when I get back. I love you all heaps, and mwah. I'm having so much fun here. There's great company. I'm just starting to get to know everyone. And uh, we've been doing a lot of fun activities. And I'm just going to pace myself from now on, because I've got a couple of weeks to go. They're making me do really hard chores, for example, um, yoga and, and getting a full body massage for about an hour. Um, I get three course meals every single day cooked for me. Yeah, I, I really understand the hard work that you have to do to get by these days. Everyone's bonding really well and that makes it so much easier to be here. I'm really happy and I'm missing you all and I can't wait to see you, but it hopefully won't be too soon. Hey guys, I just need the camera. Look, you've got to get me out of here. You don't understand what they've got us to do. Every morning they get us to sleep in. Then we have breakfast served. I don't have to do any of the cooking or cleaning. There are beautiful women here. And I've even got a couple of them doing my washing. I can't take it anymore. I think I've got a massage in a couple of minutes. I think they're softening us up for a cold or something. I hear something. I think they're coming. I better go. Excellent acting. Very well done. Now, I have just been informed that the first nominee list for this year is now official. So we'll cross back to deliver the news to the housemates later in the show. For some, it will of course be an enormous relief. But for others, this will be the beginning of an anxious and lonely week. Is there food? Go, we'll go. Yeah, is, there, is there food? We've got it. Uh, open the storage, please. <laughs> yeah. Basta, 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 basta,
movie pro exercise Watch the TV, work those eyes Reach for the chips, stretch those thighs Oh brother Ben, stretch Look at the TV <laughs> Ben, stretch Reach for the chips Ben, stretch Grab your drink <laughs> Ben, stretch Oh brother If you're not going to listen, you can just let the pass <laughs> is from the team at Club Veg at Triple M, so thank you for that. Now, we have seen our housemates laugh, we've seen them cry, we've seen them talk behind each other's backs, but now it's time to look behind the behaviour of our housemates. And to give us the story on why they do what they do, would you please welcome a social psychologist from Macquarie University, Professor Kip Williams. Hi. <laughs> Let's analyse you. Are you nervous? Oh, just a little. Because you're a big fan of Big Brother, aren't you? You use it in your course. I've used it in my course because a lot of the students watch it so I can use it to play off of the lectures. So you're a big fan of Big Brother, right? Big Brett. Big <laughs> fan. Big fan <laughs> of yours. Answer that question. Oh, yeah. Good. Now, what would they be feeling in the house at the moment, do you think? Uh, I think they've got to be probably the most nervous they've been for the whole week because they are all wondering whether they've been nominated or not. And uh, it's a terrible thing to uh, find out that people don't like you mm -hmm. and uh, that they might want you to leave. And would they be, well, let's think, we hear who the nominees are later in the show. So mm. those people, they would feel ostracised, I should imagine. Yes, they would. And yet they've got to endure a week with the same people that, uh, that uh, kicked them out or that nominated them. So that's got to be torture. What are the different ways of coping with ostracism? I think initially they're just going to, their feelings are going to be hurt. They're going to probably get a little sulky, a little quiet, maybe go away by themselves. And then... Uh, some of them will react kind of negatively and lash out and try to regain control, whereas others will try to become friends and, and get to be liked more. Suck up, would that be the phrase? Suck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the technical term, that's, isn't it? That, that's right. <laughs> All right. Now, would they also be wondering why on earth they were nominated? Would they be analysing their own behaviour in the house? Yeah, they would. So if they got nominated, they'd sit there and probably think back for the last week, and what did I do, and what, what can I do to change that? And, you know, what, what, pissed, what uh, made people mad at me? And, so we saw a bit of, of uh, people not necessarily pulling their own weight. Right. And What's that so called? That's called social loafing. Oh, not being lazy. Right. <laughs> it's a nice word, social loafing. Uh, but it, that's when there's a group task and you're all trying to work together and you don't try as hard. You don't work uh, as hard as you would if you were working on it by yourself. And that causes resentment. But why would someone do that in a house where they're all with new people? Wouldn't you try and pull your own weight? Especially with the entire nation watching. The idea that people are watching is really sailing at first. People think about it, but I think you lose sight of it after a while. It, it, you get used to it, and uh, you, you revert to the way you are. And uh, if uh, you can get away with not working hard, and uh, the situation allows it, then you, then you will. But others notice that, and you'll have to pay the price later. And did we see other people try and win friendships by doing more than their fair share? Uh, yeah, I think that some people actually worked harder and uh, socially compensated for the people that weren't working. And uh, that, but unfortunately, that makes the social loafers loaf even more. Oh, does it? Yeah. So yeah see, I need to learn this for my children, so <laughs> you don't do it for them. That's right. If you work especially hard for them, they'll just let you work more and more and more. Oh, okay. Take advantage of it. Now, what about, yes, you see, I'm taking notes here. What about um, people revealing intimate details of themselves, as they did in the first couple of days? Is that a device to win friends? Um, I don't think so, exactly. I think that uh, the way it was set up to get to know each other, uh, people got deeper and deeper and deeper about themselves, and so toward the end it got to be very deep. But that's natural. That's part of self-disclosure is that you say a little bit about yourself, someone matches that, and then you go a little bit deeper. It's like a, a layers of an onion, and you keep peeling it low, more and more and more off. And so I think that those were obviously really things that happened to these people and uh, they just uh, were responding to the norm of reciprocity of, of, of you, you, you tell something about yourself, I'll tell something about myself. You say something deeper, I'll say something deeper. You don't think it was a bit of competition there? You were poor, what about us? Well, but I don't think they were making those things up, obviously. No, but there's and when a time it came and a place. Da when it came to Damien, uh, he said, hey, nothing bad has happened to me. So I don't think, you know, I don't think you could top it if you, if you didn't have anything to top it with. Well, you could borrow someone else's story. You could. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel that that was all quite genuine? 
I think it was, yeah. I think, I think the, the stories they were telling about themselves were real. Whether they would ever say that much about themselves in a normal situation, I think, wouldn't happen. But they're, they're you know, in a pressure cooker, and they're having to learn a lot about themselves. And I think that the, it just sped up. It was accelerated. But does that push people away, or does it draw them closer to you to share that sort of intimacy so early? As long as you're not being inappropriate. As long as, if everybody was giving very shallow information about themselves, and then suddenly somebody said something really, really deep, that would, be, that would put people off. But if it happens sort of gradually, then it would be okay. And I think that people probably who said very sad things about their lives, that's going to make people reluctant to, to nominate them too. Ah, so it could be a device? It could be, but I, I think it's just a natural thing that if someone had some bad things happen to them, that other people aren't going to want to dump on them right away. Just the other thing about people in other people's space, Damien, do you think that that would be putting blokes off, the fact that he's moving towards some of the girls? Some. Uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about you personally. I'm, I'm talking about the guys in the house. Right. Uh, I think that they might have might see him as a, a bit of a rival, but um, uh, at the same time, he seems to have been friendly with most of the guys too. But uh, so I mean, it could put the girls off too. Yes, it, it could. It could. Not those of us who are desperate, but never mind. <laughs> well, life is about to actually get a little bit tougher in the Big Brother house, and you know why, because we are intro... Oh, I can't even speak. We are introducing this. Can you see it clearly? Oh, look over there. It's called a big one, and it is the new Big Brother currency. And from now on, it's pay to play. Tomorrow's show will reveal yet another surprise for the housemates. This time around, Big Brother's introduced slot machines uh, that accept the big ones, and they've been hidden throughout the house for the past week or so. They've been covered up by boxes, and the housemates have been quite ignorant of what's behind them, but now they're in for a shot. The big ones come in units of five. One coin equals five big ones. The shopping list has been marked accordingly to accommodate the five unit tokens, and all the prices are subject to change at Big Brother's discretion. Now they're going to find out that they're going to have to use them for powering the hot water, um, using the sinks, the air conditioning, and heating the swimming pool. It's up to the housemates how they how they use their big ones. If they want to pull them together into one kitty and buy everything together, then that's fine. If you want to buy something special away from the rest of the people, then you'll get your change and your item will be left on the table in the store. Some people say that money is the root of all evil, so I think the introduction of big ones is going to be very interesting. Well, what do you think of this? Is it going to make the life in the house a bit more difficult? Are they Euro dollars? No, they're not. <laughs> you know, by the end of Big Brother, these are going to be worth more than the Australian dollar. <laughs> Actually, so is this, you know, what does it matter? Thank you very much. I would like to thank Kip Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It looked like I forgot your name, but I was just overwhelmed by your beauty. Still to come, all the lowdown on Dashing Damien, and this is from his dad, who's a little biased, and his sister. We also have starstruck Big Brother predictions from our ex-housemate, Todd, and the housemates find out, of course, who has been nominated. We've got your sister and what is your name? Liz. And then we've got Dad, what's your name? Chan. Chan? <laughs> Now, how are you feeling, Chan? I feel great. <laughs> Chan, great. I actually think you're about to collapse. No. You feel all right? I, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> you're not nervous? No, not really. Well, I'm nervous. <laughs> you must be very proud of your son, are you? Give me five. <laughs> yeah. Give me five. Here we have Damien's dad, Chan, and Damien's sister, Liz. How are you? I'm very well. Were you sedated the other night? <laughs> a little bit. You were. I you was, see, I could I pick was, it. I was, actually. How's the last week been for you? It has been great, actually. It's very good, but uh, sometimes a bit nervous on what Damien is going to do. <laughs> 
I've been nervous about what Damien's going to do as well. Oh. <laughs> yes, let's share. <laughs> that was my reaction as well. Hey, he's yeah. quite forward, isn't he? Yeah, he's very forward. Yeah. With the girls. Oh. <laughs> with the girls, with the boys. <laughs> I, mean, I don't, I don't think Damien wants sense, you to say not that. Not in that sense. <laughs> but we're proud of him, aren't we? Oh, we are. I'm very proud of him. Yeah. And how are we feeling? Me? It's good. Is yeah. everybody just saying, what about Damien? What about Damien? Yeah, you? it's a bit like that. So you've lost your life and you've just become his yeah, spokesperson? Yeah, Damien's little sister. Yeah, yeah. No Liz anymore. And how <laughs> are you feeling about the nominations? Um, I could, I thought that would happen, that I could get a few nominations. And it's just about watching it on TV and seeing the reactions of everyone and hear, like, people talking about him when he's not there. And I just think, oh, yeah, <laughs> I can see where they're coming from sometimes. <laughs> well, he, he always said people were going to love him or, or hate him in the yeah, house. I don't know anybody who like hates that. him. Yeah. But he's certainly on with the girls. Yeah. What do we think about that? Proud? I don't know about proud. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, I, I he's... just couldn't think of the emotion that I would <laughs> <laughs> it, he's very confident. He doesn't lack confidence. No, all. that's true. No, he... And neither do you two. Okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> it's all right. No, you can finish that sentence. I'm just being rude. Go okay. on. <laughs> oh, that's all I had to say. That's all. All right. Well, that's good because I actually... <laughs> what I actually wanted to do was share some footage of Damien when he was a little boy because that's when we can really see yeah. that his confidence started very young, didn't oh, yeah. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. He gets it from you, Chan. He's a... I was, was going to say he's a yo down... Well, what's the end of that sentence? It's something rude, isn't it? He's a... whatever yeah. those things are. I don't know what's that, but he, he does it all the time. Even that, to me, yeah. It's what you put petrol in the car with. Yeah, yeah, petrol in the car. Yeah. Now, also, he's been on the cover of Rolling Stone, I understand, because he did that when he was, what, eight? Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, eight. All right, and he's been on the cover of Rolling Stone. When he was... Oh, that was when he was four or five. <laughs> so he, he's quite confident within himself yeah, as yeah, a talented yeah. musician and yeah. a sportsman. Yeah. If we could sneak into the house, which, of course, we know we can't do, no. what would you say to him? Just keep... just be natural. Is he not being natural? Oh, no, no, he is being natural. Well, why but, don't you tell him something he's no, not doing? No, 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 just, just... Chill? No, 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 no not just Keep chill. Keep hands just off the be, girls? Yeah. You, you are your own con consequences. That's very deep, isn't it? <laughs> you are your own consequences. <laughs> and, of course, a little bit reflects on you. Let's not forget oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. Now, speaking of deep and meaningful, let's have a look at our star signs. We, of course have been talking to Todd. Todd has been out doing some research for us, our on-the-road reporter. Let's have a look at what he's come up with for the star combinations inside the Big Brother house. After only one week into the house, things are really starting to heat up a little bit. But the question on everybody's lips is who's going to win, who's going to be out first, and who's going to find some romance. And is that romance going to last? Could the answer be in the stars? Let's ask the housemates. Right. My star sign is Sagittarius. Sagittarian. Taurus. Capricorn. Gemini. Sagittarian. Pisces. Pisces. Aries. Aquarius. Gemini. Scorpio. Now with me now is Joanne Madeline Moore, astrological guru to the stars. Joanne, has there been any surprises? Well, Todd, I think the biggest surprise is Marty. He's, you know, the likeable down-home country boy. But he's also got a side of him that's a little bit eccentric. He's an Aquarian. Nathan is a jolly Gemini. He's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina is an Aries. Very capable, very independent, very ambitious. But she's also can be bossy and domineering. I'm half Italian, which means I have a temper. I'm sorry. I'm really good at controlling it, but you never know in here. Turkan is another Sagittarian. She's very likeable. She's funny. She's outgoing. Really, what you see is what you get. I want to get a little bit sort of raunchy right now. Let's yeah. talk about some some love lives, shall okay. we? The biggest chance of romance is between two astro twins. That's Ooh. two people in the house who were born on the same day. 
the same month, same year, and that is Damien and Mirabai. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is bullshit. Are you serious? We got the same, same birthday, 19th of March. And they are, I think, are soulmates. They've got a lot in common. I mean, they're very musical, they're very talented. Okay, that's all the housemates, but what about me? Oh! What have I got going on for the next couple of months? Well, I mean, you're a Capricorn, but so I think you've got that sort of reliable side, you've got an ambitious side, you know, you want to get ahead, you want to do things, but I think you've got a slightly radical side too, where you like to do things that are a bit different. I think the next couple of months are actually going to be very good for you. So, Les, what do you think is going to happen with Mirabai and Damien? I don't know. It's hard to say, but oh, I suppose they're the same star sign, same birth date. It's a bit all coincidental. Yes. So, do you think they might get yeah. married, Chan? I don't know, but they could be enjoying the same birthday. <laughs> oh. same day. You're very spiritual, aren't you, Chan? <laughs> the new guru, Chan. Thank you very much for coming here this evening. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Thank you. the housemates learn who has been nominated and we watch the fallout. Get the tissues ready. Thank you. 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 I always find the first week of Big Brother very stressful. It's like these are all my new flatmates and I have to get to know them and there's too much personality. Now, the first week of Big Brother reminds me why I don't live in a share house oh, anymore. And haven't they cranked their personalities up to 11? They all got out of the car going, woohoo, I'm a rock star. Actually, could I request a little less woohoo? Mm, please, one request. All musical instruments in the pool now. Oh, and could I add Jessica's voice box to that? No more singing, please. No, she makes a noise like a small parrot being tortured with a pencil. Oh. Okay, who's got to go in your book? In my book, I'm sorry, but it's got to be Jessica. Just can't bear it. Well, I've just mentioned him, so yeah, Damien. Why Damien? Well, because he's handsome, he's charming, he plays the guitar, and he's got a six-pack stomach. I love him. <laughs> In Sydney, we'll be going to the house to tell them who the nominations are for this week. But I just want to tell you about something. Now, last year, each evicted housemate gave us a legacy item to auction online, raising $40,000 for 15 different charities. And this year, it's on again, and I'm getting the ball rolling by offering the boots that launched a thousand executive memos. Do you remember these babies? I wore these on an eviction show last year. They're now world famous. They are fashion icons. <laughs> the undiscerning see them as just white boots, but the brilliant among us see them as the embodiment of all that is good. <laughs> these are super boots, and to walk in my shoes, you can bid for them. Just log on to our website, bigbrother.iprimus.com.au. Proceeds will go to UNICEF. Now, I'm getting a little bit nervous because the moment of truth has arrived. So let's cross back to the house because Big Brother is waiting to deliver some nasty nomination news. This is Big Brother. Yay! Standing by. The first three nominations for eviction are oh, it's just me. Katrina, Katrina. Turka. So what are we staring at this for? That is it. Can so we get the secret? Oh. No, no, we don't yeah, get the secret. We're on a TV. It's here. Okay, Katrina got 11 votes, Turkan 7 votes, and Damien 5 votes. So the game is on. Three names, three numbers, one person out of the house. Now to evict Katrina, call 1902 <laughs> That's 1902 <laughs> To send Turkan home, dial 1902 That's 1902 
and for Damien's eviction, call 1902 555012. 1902 555012. Right, grab your phone and dial. It's your first chance to shape the future of the Big Brother house. The lines close at 8 pm this Sunday, and we'll be meeting our first evictee not long after that. Holy emotional Sunday night. <coughs> Tomorrow night at 7, be sure to tune in for the chaos created by tonight's nominations. Do we feel chaotic? Yeah. <laughs> we will also see what happens with the introduction of the big ones. I will be back for our first episode of Uncut this Thursday night at 9.30 and have we got a show for you. <laughs> and then the really big one, our first eviction. This Sunday night, live from 7.30. I'm Gretel Colleen. Good night. Brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.